In recent news, Apple's been announcing a lot of products such as new iPhones, a new Apple Watch, a new version of iOS, but what they haven't talked about is Mac and the MacBooks, iMacs, etc. I don't know when new MacBooks and all that are going to be announced, but I do know one thing, and that's that today, September 20th of 2016, is when Apple's new desktop operating system, Mac OS Sierra, is coming out. And in fact, I'm downloading it right now. And this video is going to be my initial, you know, thoughts and experience with the new OS. Now, if you want to update to Mac OS Sierra, it's free, which is really nice. And all you have to do is go to the Mac App Store and search up Mac OS Sierra and then simply download it. All right, so it's the next day with Mac OS Sierra and it took roughly 30 minutes to install. So 30 minutes to download, 30 minutes to install. Roughly within an hour, I had Mac OS Sierra all set up on my computer. There were a few applications that said that they weren't supported, so I had to update them. Uh, one driver for my ethernet adapter. But besides that, everything seems to be working. So now we can dive in to what is Mac OS Sierra. And right away, you're gonna notice that there is a new wallpaper. Apple does this with every single operating system. Looks nice, can't complain. But diving into some actual features, one of the biggest things with Mac OS Sierra is Siri. We've had Siri on our iPhones, iPads, iPod Touch for a while, and now it's finally on the Mac. So if you go to the dock at the bottom, uh, right by Finder, there is a Siri icon, and if you click it, it opens up Siri. And now it's gonna be listening to me and with anything I have to say. Uh, also, there's a Siri icon in the upper right-hand corner, right by your notifications button, so I click that, Siri opens, and I, you know, Siri's what you would expect uh, if I click it. What's the weather? Here's the forecast for today. There you go. Works, you know, pretty simple. I could also search files as well as open up apps. So, open Safari. And there you go, Safari's open. You know, it seems to work really well. There's gonna be a lot of features and whatnot that Siri is gonna be able to take advantage of. I'm not gonna be going over some, into more detail about Siri, but know it's there and have some fun with that. Moving on to our next feature though, is a universal clipboard. So I'm gonna be able to copy and paste text on my Mac and it's gonna be able to go to my phone. So let's actually do that. I'm going to just go to this file and I just want to copy that text. And then if we go to our phone, I'm just in the notes right now and I can paste. And there you go. It now pasted what I copied on my Mac, which I think is a really cool feature. It does do this also with images, which is really nice. The one thing though is it seems to be a tad slow. Um, but maybe that'll improve. Also, one thing to note is that you're gonna have to be within the range of your Mac. It's gonna be talking through Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth, so you can't copy and paste things from a different house. If your Mac's at one, you're at one house and you're at another house, it's not gonna work with a huge range like that, but if you're just at your desk, this feature is gonna be really nice. Moving right along though, I personally use messages a lot. I'd rather be messaging on my computer with a keyboard and everything than just typing on a phone. So I use the messages app a lot and opening up messages, they did change a few things. Now generally it looks the same, but if you're gonna be using a lot of emojis, uh, you can send a simple emoji and now it's really big and obnoxious. I don't know if that's really a good or important feature, but it's something. Also, one thing I also like is if I copy and paste the links into a message, like I'm gonna do here, you know, it just looks like an ordinary link, but when I send it, it's also gonna be looking up some website info. So I sent my website to me and it found the logo. And you know, if I send like a blog post from like Mac Rumors, like I did up here, it shows a little thumbnail of that post with some little information. So that's kind of cool. Without even clicking on the link, I can generally know what the link's gonna be about before I click on it. Continuing though to move right along, this is actually probably my favorite feature within Mac OS Sierra, and that is picture and picture mode. So let me show you. So if I'm gonna go to Safari, and I'm actually gonna go to 
YouTube and let's just watch a random video. Um, now, obviously I can make the video full screen and whatnot, but sometimes I want to multitask. And sure, I could resize the window and put it in the corner, but now there's a picture-in-picture -picture mode. So, it doesn't fully work on YouTube. Some uh, web players will let you do it, but I can double right-click on the video and then enter picture-in-picture -picture mode. And now I can minimize Safari and I have the video. So I can just be playing it and move it where I want to. It's gonna kind of lock to the side, whether that's the uh, any corner really. And then I can, you know, do whatever on my computer. And this video player is always gonna be at the top. Its goal is to try to stay out of the way, but also make sure you can still always watch the video. So I like to multitask a lot on the computer and I hate resizing all the windows. So to have this, I'm actually really excited for this. I hope that uh, YouTube makes it easier to enable picture in picture mode instead of double right clicking, but that's the kind of workaround we have right now and I thoroughly enjoy that feature. And just going over some other features now, if you have an Apple Watch, you can be able to just walk up to your computer and as soon as you get on it, it's gonna unlock it as long as you have the Apple Watch on. So the Apple Watch is gonna act as your password pretty much and I like that. Uh, and also there's some upgrades with iCloud. They're trying to make it so that all your files can be on any device. So if I pay for iCloud storage, I can store all my documents and my entire desktop and whatnot on iCloud. And so then I can quickly access files and whatnot on my phone, which I like that feature, but at the same time, I'm not gonna pay for iCloud right now. I don't really find it worth it for me, but maybe you'll enjoy it, I'm not sure. Also, there's also a feature to minimize storage or optimize storage. So basically, the Mac's going to go through your files and it's gonna see what files you do and do not use. And the files you do not use, it's actually gonna upload to iCloud so that you don't have to have it on your Mac. Now, again, you're gonna have to pay for iCloud for that. So I don't know if that's a feature that I would use, but it might be interesting to you. I'm not exactly sure. Regardless, that's my quick little first impressions of Mac OS Sierra. Uh, I haven't had any issues with stabilization or anything like that. It seems to be working fine. There is very few apps that I had issues with opening and all of them I just updated and it was completely fine. So download Mac OS Sierra. I don't think there's any reason not to. Everything seems to be working. I haven't had any glitches or whatnot. And there's not, it's not an entire new operating system. It's just some minor tweaks and advancements and whatnot. But it seems to be fine. I'm enjoying it already, especially the picture in picture mode. But you guys let me know. What do you think about Mac OS Sierra? Do you even care about it? You might not, but maybe you will. I'm not sure. Anyway, though, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave that in the comment section below. Anyway, I'm Eric. I'll catch you in the next video.